the world is still you're intensifying the look at what uh, certain uh, products will do for certain diseases. Not that there are necessarily cures in there or whatever it is. It takes quite a little bit of uh, pushing and shoving within the framework of a human being's body to make a big difference. For example, uh, this uh, article uh, done in 2009 from Harvard shows arginine uh, is really strong at preventing uh, Alzheimer's disease. It's not easy to come up with it because there's three, now even four, different what are called NOS, which is nitric oxide synthase. The thing that gets it through the cells into your body doing all the things that we uh, know make us feel better. These are important uh, things. They're big scape kind of things. They're in situations where it's hard to really uh, say, oh, this is a little thing happening because they're all happening very fast and really to everybody's advantage. So as we see the arginine doing better for everything and see it being from really outstanding institutions, we find other things that we say, all right, the arginine will make things better. We know this. It'll make stem cells grow things and the like. But now we've learned also there's something else to do. You've got to do general vitamins and minerals. The body has to have a normal platform, platform from which it jumps so that you have something that in about three weeks, four weeks of the daily defense that we're asking most people to start with, with any situation that is not normal and make everything a status, a jumping board from which we can do everything else. Uh, it's very clay, it's very are related to people who have problems with diabetes. Now we've sort of known that for years, but we didn't realize that all these uh, small vessels that are in diabetes were super, super very important in everything they do. That's why we don't see anybody who has eye disease. We don't see anybody who has neuropathy we can't change. We see the area of autonomic neuropathy come back to normal with these uh, particular uh, programs that we put together. So really, as we have walked into getting one disease like heart, hardening the arteries or atherosclerosis under control, we're getting two, getting three. Well, that's really not surprising when you look at human beings in the human body. Well, we begin about the same. Uh, as we move into the blood pressure situation, it is even a closer thing to talk about. This is what you see now in terms of what the body does in terms of a waveform. Everybody who's been in here has had this done in some form or other. And this CASP, which is the uh, acronym for Central Aortic Systolic Pressure, is a is a linchpin of everything that's going on. So what we're doing is having new pieces of machinery. We bought it in, um, in from Minnesota, and it really has disappeared now from the world. It's not a major thing, but the small vessels still respond. We can watch how they go. We can see how the waveforms change. So you can understand by virtue of this and tying in with diabetes, that everybody in a young person who uses arginine for athleticism really do well with this. And they understand it as it changes you into a more mature and even smarter individual. I didn't make that up, but people often accuse me of that. So we have something we know lots about, more fun than ever before. Even tastes good. I thought everything that was good for you tasted bad. So we know that we can make big changes in everybody, and that's where we began to look at health forever. Some of you have talked about the 126 Club we have, but we'll save that for another time. It's really good to know that you're making the whole panoply of metabolism normal in you when you start the arginine and you start any D that's in here and a lot of other things that just make you feel better. It's your time.